There is a huge mistake I see people making. Not simply those who practice the left hand path, but even solo practitioners themselves. That mistake is the avoidance and disdain of illusion. The best thing for me to do would be to ask this question first. What is illusion? Within my studies of the occult, I far too often hear the word illusion misused. More often than not, the term is given to mean fake, as in the idea of what people mean when they say the physical world is an illusion. Said differently, it's a fancy way for them to say the physical world isn't real, when in all honesty, that is not what the word illusion means. What an illusion is, is something that is not what it appears to be. Or, in other words, it's something that appears to be something it is not. Illusion, or a quality of the quantity two, is within the one thing. Why? Because that one thing is all things. The quality of the quantity two exists as the potential to be something other than the one thing. Two exists within one. Said differently, by a similar respect to how one exists within zero, two exists within one. Two exists within one, as the potential to be anything other than that one thing. A good representation of the relationship between one and two is a line segment and its relationship to the connection between the two points as opposed to the points that compose it. The thing that connects two things is a different type of thing than the thing that it is connecting. If there is ever to be anything other than the one thing, aside from the infinite unexpressed potential that gives rise to it, then illusion is necessary. The ability to appear to be something that you are not while remaining that which you are. This is the way that one can always be that one thing, regardless of whether or not its appearance reflects that fact. That possibility to be something other than the one thing is a thing in and of itself. Although, once again, just like the line segment, the thing that connects two things is a different type of thing than that which it connects. That which connects those two points is a thing as well, simply of a different type and nature. It is not the same type of thing as the one and is much more similar to the nature of the unexpressed potential that gives rise to one. Here's another way to look at it. By way of one, zero and two exist at a 90 degree angle of one another. Said differently, from a certain respect, zero is the other side of one. From another respect, however, two is the other side of one. Without that illusion, one could only be one and would end up being as inert and handicapped as zero is. Illusion is not only a necessary aspect of being, but for itself possesses a plethora of utility. The goal is not to become limitless. You're already limitless. Your issue is that your perception of limitation stands in direct contradiction to this fact. More specifically, your agreements to that contradiction. What is you? Said differently, illusion allows for definition and definition allows for being. As I've said before, the goal is to turn that light of your awareness back on itself. The devil is in the details and the details will set you free. Always remember, question our statement. What is you?